Toxic Fairy Tales. The King of the Golden Castle Once upon a time, there was a merchant who was on his business trip across the sea. Suddenly, a big storm came and his ship sank. It was the shipment that he had to invest a lot of money in. He lost everything because of the storm. Thankfully, he was still alive. Hello! Huh? Why do you look so sad? Well, I just lost all my money after a big storm. I have a little son at home. Now I don't know how to support him. <laughs> don't worry. I will help you become a hundred times richer. In return, you must promise to give me the first thing that holds your leg when you're home. After 12 years, I will come to get it. Okay? The first thing to hold my leg will definitely be my little dog. A dog for a fortune. That's too good. He quickly agreed with the demon's suggestion. <laughs> he did not know that the storm was caused by the demon because it wanted to take advantage of him. Unexpectedly, when he arrived home, the first one who welcomed him was his son. The father was shocked and regretted that he was too greedy and did not think straight. He was very worried. He went to the attic to see his chest and saw that all of them were full of gold and silver. The merchant became richer than ever. However, he was always worried that one day he would have to repay the demon with his own son. As time passed by, his son Mason became a <laughs> handsome, intelligent, and courageous man. However, during the past 12 years, Mason had always been confused to see his father sad and anxious, especially every time his father looked at him. He always wondered what had happened to his father. One night, while sleeping, Mason met a fairy in his dream. She told Mason the story of his father 12 years ago. It was a demon who created the storm, causing your father to become miserable. After that, he deceived your father with an attractive offer, and your father was tricked. So, ma'am, what can I do to help my father and get rid of that demon? Don't worry, son. Follow my instructions. Then you will gain happiness. But you have to go through some challenges. The fairy showed Mason how he would be able to escape from the demon. Mason, my son, I have to tell you something stupid I did 12 years ago. The merchant told Mason the story. But after hearing that, Mason didn't blame his father at all. <sighs> it's okay, father. Everything will be fine. The day had finally come, and the father took Mason to meet the demon. Mason drew a big circle around his father, and they stood inside to wait for the demon. After a while, the demon appeared. Oh man, I come to take what you promised me 12 years ago. Give me your son. No, he is my only son. I cannot give him to you. Can I just give you back all the gold I borrowed? You're a liar. You want to break your promise. I will only take your son. The angry demon quickly ran to them to catch Mason. Ah! But he couldn't enter the circle, no matter how hard he tried. Uh, why can't I get through this circle? Uh, Dude, you won't be able to touch me if I'm still in this circle. It would be better if you forget about the promise and receive your go back. I don't need go! If you want me to spare you, you have to get on the boat and sail away. If you're lucky to be alive, I promise to let you go. Mason agreed to follow the demon's order. He sat on a small wooden boat and was pushed out to the sea by his father. 
so stupid. I made his father's boat sink once, and this time would be no different. <laughs> the demon cast a spell to make Mason's boat sink, and he drowned. Huh? The father was devastated. <laughs> he asked many people to go and look for his son, but no one could find him. Fortunately, the waves carried Mason to an island. Where is this? Where am I now? He oh. looked around and saw a magnificent golden castle not very far away. I'm so hungry. I will go to the golden castle over there to ask for some food and water. Mason walked into the golden castle and saw a fancy oh. banquet table. However, he didn't see anyone there. Hello, is anyone here? I'm so hungry. Maybe I will eat a little bit, and when someone comes, I will apologize to them. After finishing his meal, Mason still didn't see anyone return. Feeling too curious, he began to wander around the castle. When he came to a room, Mason was shocked to see a large white snake. Don't be afraid, I am Princess Harper, owner of this castle. Because I didn't agree to marry the demon, he turned me into a white snake. Please, help me. And I am Mason. It's my pleasure to help Princess. What can I do to save you? You must sleep in my castle for one night. If you can sleep well all night without fear, the demon's curse will be dispelled, and I will transform Ooh. back into a human the next morning. The brave young man, Mason, accepted to help the snake. He was not afraid of this mysterious castle at all and slept well in his room all night. The next morning, Hapa huh? became a human. Mason was stunned looking at the princess's beauty. Mason, you have saved me and the whole castle. Actually, I promised that I'll marry whoever would save me. Do you agree to marry me? I would love to, my princess. <laughs> the golden castle was not under the curse anymore. It became more bustling than ever. Mason became the king of the golden castle. <laughs> he lived happily with his beloved wife, Queen Harper. But he always missed his father. Harper, my father must have been very sad to think that I was dead. I want to visit my father. But I don't know the way back. Is there any way that I can go home and visit him? Keep this ring and it will take you wherever you want to go. But you must remember, never use the ring to take me to you. Or else, the curse on the ring will take effect and we'll be in big trouble. Bring these seeds with you. Ooh. Once you plant them on the ground, the trees will grow and produce gold and silver fruits. Keep them safe. You're gonna need them. Thank you. I remember everything. I want to go back to my father's house. As soon as Mason finished speaking, he immediately found himself in his father's house. Father, I have returned. Oh my God, my son. Looking at Mason in the king's costumes, oh. the father was very surprised. Father, I have become the king of the Golden Castle. My wife is Princess Harper. My son, you don't need to worry and lie to make me happy. How can you possibly marry a princess? I am just so happy that you're back. If you don't believe me, I will bring my wife here for you to see. I want my wife, Princess Harper of the Golden Castle, to come to me immediately. Harper immediately appeared in front of Mason and his father. Oh no! Why didn't you listen to me? The evil curse on the ring has taken effect. We will face a big disaster. As soon as she finished speaking, a very strong wind arose. Harper and Mason were both swept away by the wind to two different places. While Harper and the Golden Castle were taken to an unknown forest. Mason found himself in a remote desert, and the ring also disappeared. My God! I didn't listen to Harper's advice. The demon's curse took effect. I must go save her. 
Mason crossed the desert and went to a large meadow. Here, he met three dwarves arguing about three treasures they had just found. What's the problem? Can I help you? We found these three treasures, and we are discussing who should keep what. Oh, what are those treasures? Can I see them? There are an invisible hat, a teleporting pair of shoes, and a bottle that can lock everything inside. They are very precious. These are miraculous. With them, I can <laughs> save Harper. Well, now, I also have some valuable treasures. They are even more valuable than yours. Ooh. It is also very easy to divide. I think it would be best if we exchange them. It'll help us all. What treasures? Are you deceiving us? Look at this. He scattered the beans on the ground. Immediately, they grew into a lush green tree, producing many golden and silver fruits on the branches. Great! They are more <laughs> valuable than all of our treasures. I will give you this bag of seeds. There are many seeds, enough for all of you to divide equally. Is that fair? Yes. Okay. The three dwarves happily agreed to exchange because they were all interested in Mason's magic seeds, and more importantly, <laughs> they could easily divide the seeds among themselves. And Mason immediately used the pair of teleporting shoes to find Harper. Along the way, he met an old woman. Mason asked her for help. Ma'am, can you please give me some food, please? I am so hungry. All right, son. Just go to my house and rest a bit. Ooh. The kind lady treated Manson warmly with lots of delicious food. <gasps> She was actually the fairy that had appeared in Mason's dream. <laughs> oh, you are the fairy who helped me. I know. You are still looking for the golden castle and your wife. I am here to help you. Ma'am, do you know where she is now? I will be very grateful to you. She is far away from here, but fortunately, the teleporting shoes can take you there in a blink of an eye. Harper and the Golden Castle are being controlled by the demon in a deserted forest. Listening to the fairy, Mason used the teleporting shoes to fly to his golden castle in the wild forest. Mason put the hat on. He became invisible and sneaked into the castle. The demon was trying to win Harper's heart with the world's most expensive gifts. My beautiful Harper, I would like to offer you this beautiful gem vase. Please accept my proposal. At that moment, Mason huh? entered. He angrily pushed the vase to the ground. It shattered. Huh? The demon was surprised and sadly looked at the broken vase. Mason took off his hat and appeared right in front of the demon. It's you again. You're still alive. You're an evil demon. You harmed my father and took my wife from me. This time, I will teach you a lesson so you won't hurt any other people. Magic bottle, lock up this evil demon for me. Oh! Let me out! Let me out! You can stay in this bottle forever. I thought that I would never see you again. I'm sorry. I broke my promise and made you suffer from the devil. But everything is over. From now on, we will be together forever. The curse was completely lifted. The golden castle was returned to its original state. Later, Mason and Harper took their fathers to the golden <laughs> castle to take care of him. They both ruled the golden castle and lived together happily ever after. <laughs>